If you have one of these cats who likes to eat, you may also want to invest in an automatic pet feeder such as this one. However, programming these can be a little bit difficult if you're not good with technology. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to program this PetSafe automatic pet feeder. If you've already put food in the system and you need to change the batteries, rather than emptying out all the food, one tip you can do is put the pull the machine on the edge of a table just enough so that you can access these two tabs on the bottom to access the battery compartment. And as you can see, there are the batteries. For this demonstration, I'm going to take the batteries out for a minute or two to reset the internal clock so that it will be in a reset condition. In case you don't already know, the unit takes four D batteries. So I just put in the batteries and now it is blinking 12. This 12, or 24, if you push the up arrow, is the time format. So if you're American and you use uh, the regular system with AM, PM, you'll want 12 hour time. However, if you're uh, overseas and you tell time with 24 hours, just push the up or down arrow to select 24. And then when you selected the one you want, push the right arrow to go to the next setting. This is the current time of day that's displayed. So right now it is 840. So we will push the up arrow. And we selected 12 hours. So once we hit 12, it's going to go from AM to PM. Once you get the hour, push the right arrow to go to the minutes. Let's see. Yes. And if you push down, right now we're at 41. So you don't have to go through so many presses. Once you have the minute set, push the right arrow again. And as you can see, it's blinking dog. So there's two preset modes. There's both dog and cat. And if you look in the manual, it will explain how much and the times that the default settings are set for. In our case, we're going to use the user mode, which is completely customizable with both the time and the amount of food. Once you've selected the one you want, push the right arrow again to go to the next step. And as you can see, there is a one blinking on the top. So that is that corresponds to the number of meals per day. So right now, we're programming the first meal of the day. So for breakfast, we'll go push right. And now the hour is blinking. So this is the hour at which you want the first meal dispensed. In our case, we want 5.30 in the morning. And just like setting the regular clock, just push the right arrow to go to the next the next one. So there we go, 530. Once you set the minutes, push the right arrow. And now you can see the size is blinking. So this is how much food you want dispensed. So in the morning, we want a, a bigger meal. So we're going to select half a cup. And once you're done with that, push the right arrow. And it takes you back up to the top with the blinking one. So now we'll program the second meal. So for lunch, we'll leave it at 12 p.m. At noon is a good time. And one-fourth is how much we want. So we don't need to make any changes there. We'll then go to meal three. And actually 5 p.m. is already correct, so we will leave it at that. And one-fourth is also how much we want for that meal. So once you're done, and, and you can do, I think, up to 12 different meals. In our case, we only want three, so we're not going to go any higher than that. To exit the setup mode, you want to push the right arrow until the number on the top is blinking. Then push and hold the Enter key for five seconds. That exits the setup mode and brings you to the standby screen. The standby screen shows the time at which the, the next meal will be dispensed and how much will be dispensed. So at this point, the setup is complete, and tomorrow at 5.30 a.m., it will dispense one half of a cup. If you want to check the current time of day, you can push and hold this up arrow with a clock, and that shows 8.43. We're only a minute off. That's not bad. 
and looks like actually if you hold that in it will go into the edit mode so we'll go ahead and there we go all right so we fixed the time now one thing to note after a few minutes of inactivity you will see a little padlock icon show up on the top of the screen and that is so if you have smart pets that like to try and push buttons thinking they can get more food it locks out these buttons so if you see the padlock icon show up and you try and push these buttons nothing will happen to clear the button lock push and hold the enter key and the top when you push and hold these two buttons together the lock will go away and then you'll be able to enter the setup if you want to go back into the setup once it's unlocked push and hold the enter key for five seconds and now we're back into meal one let's say we wanted to make a change to the third meal we would go through here make the change and then once we're back up to the top and the meal is blinking, push and hold the enter to exit the setup. And that's it. That's how to change the time and the meal configuration of one of these pet feeders. There's a few other functions you can go through, such as the slow mode. If you enable this, if you push this left arrow and you get the turtle, what that will do is instead of dispensing all one half of a cup at one shot, it will only dispense uh, just a little bit at a time. I think over uh, two or three uh, dumps over like five or ten minutes. So at 5.30, it'll dump maybe a quarter of a cup, and then at 5.45, it will dispense again. And that's great if you have a fat cat like this one. Hi, Dylan. Who likes to eat all of his food too quickly and then tries to run around and throw it up if you put on the slow mode, it'll only dispense a little bit of the food at a time. We have another one here. Hi, Fallon. Say hi. We got two cats here. They share the feeder and they both like it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you're interested in purchasing one of these units, I'll have a link to Amazon down in the video description to where you can purchase one of these. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.